season number eight. We are back. We've been off for a little bit. It's great to be back. How do you feel? I'm very happy to be back. Yes, and so <laughs> am I. It's season eight. I can't believe we made it this far. We've done eight seasons in the last four years. And guess what? I just found out, like, the first episode of One Hops and Road Stops, like, aired today, the day we're recording this one, four years ago. Happy we, anniversary. Yeah, that's right. It started on this crazy journey of great wine, great beer, and good food and road stops. Four years ago... I believe like right around now. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it started like today, like where we're taking. So this is like really exciting. We made it four seasons. You joined us like what, two or three seasons ago. <laughs> so that was great. Yeah. So half the time I was without you, but now I'm with you. It's, you make it a better show. Oh. That's what everyone says. They don't watch me. They watch you. <laughs> And uh, I want to thank everyone that's been sticking with us for uh, the last four years. Uh, very happy to be still doing this after four years. Yeah, eight seasons. We usually do two seasons a year. You know, you know, or we call them series or seasons, whatever you want. You know, whatever you want to call them, really. Whatever you call it in the biz. I don't even know. I barely, <laughs> apparently, I'm barely in the biz, according to some people. <laughs> okay, so uh, we got a ton of stuff to get through today. Um, if you like what we do. Facebook.com slash Wine Hops and Road Stops, our Facebook page. That's where you want to talk to us. Uh, join the Facebook group, please. Uh, check out our website. Our website is going through a, um, a redesign right now. There's going to be more stuff on our website really soon, I promise you. It's getting a facelift. Yes. Yes, it is. I promise you, as soon as I can get to it, uh, we're going to have more information on there, including, like, pre I want to put up all the beers that we have tried on this show on the website so you can check it out and uh, cross-reference it to which show it's actually on and check it out because all our shows are on YouTube. Uh, I believe most of them, if not all of them, are on Facebook too. So okay. check them out, subscribe, do all that stuff you have to do on the interweb thing and um, it helps us uh, keep the show alive. So let's move on from that to uh, some great booze news that we got going on. All right then. Yeah? yeah. Okay, so you're going to be interested in this because there's a new beer style. A new beer style called, I don't even know how to pronounce this, uh, Oino beer or Eno beer, depending on who uh, you talk to. I'm not sure, but Oino is the ancient Greek word for wine. So Onino beer is just that. A combination of wine and beer, a beer-wine hybrid, if you will. Interesting. Okay, yeah. See, it's not achieved by blending beer and wine, though. It's by co-fermentation of the wort and the must. The beer has up to 49% of the fermentable sugars coming from grapes or grape product. It's basically a beer wine hybrid. So there you go. There's a new style to be on the lookout. I'm interested in checking this out, you know, because it's not just a, a blend. It's like a co-fermentation thing. So it's a little bit more scientific than that. I'd like to get our hands on that. Yeah. yeah. All right. Next thing, though, we got to talk about is Anheuser-Busch Anheuser and Yingling are fighting Again. again. In December, Yingling accused Bud Light of trademark infringement when they used Yingling's famous tagline, get ready for the next generation of beer. And now Anheuser-Busch posted online their new logo. Does it look a lot like Yingling? They think so. I think so, too. I do. Yeah, I, re yeah, I yeah. do. Yeah, come on, guys. I mean, you got all these like high-powered graphic designers and stuff that get paid way more than anybody in this house. And you can't think of, uh, I mean, I understand, okay, you got the, you got the, you got the eagle, okay? And Heiser Bush always had the eagle. But, like, you could draw an eagle a little different than the Yingling eagle, which has been around for a long time. Yeah. I mean, come on. Come on. That's just lazy. Don't anger Dick Yingling. Please, come on. Hey. What? Somebody's trying to be like Pottsville. Like, that's cool. That is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, if you think they about are it. jealous of Pottsville. I'm sure the guys in Pottsville are like, that's right. That's right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. So there's the booze news for this episode, and we're going to move right along to um, a commercial break, because when we come back, we got some beers to try, and we get to talk about our road trip that we took in December. <laughs> what is that? What was that road trip? Well, town called Vegas. Fabulous Las Vegas! Yeah, we're going to give you a rundown of what we did, what we tried, what we ate, where we went to in Las Vegas, Nevada, sometime on the show. So don't go away. We'll be right back with some, um, some beer tasting. And we're gonna talk about the drink of the week. Brought to you by Jackass Distillery. Don't go away, there's more wine hops and road stops coming up right after this. Welcome back to 
the Wine Hops and Road Stops first episode of Season 8. We made it to Season 8. I want to thank everybody for tuning in to us, uh, supporting us, uh, including all the sponsors, going all the way back to the beginning. If you dropped some of your hard-earned money on supporting this show, thank you very much, because that's why it survives. Yeah. So we got some beers in front of us here. <laughs> what is the theme today, dear? Dead of Winter beers. Those nice, thick, dark, heavy beers that keep you fat and warm in the winter. <laughs> we are in the dead of winter, mm -hmm. and so it's um, it's right. I mean, this is it's it's the time for for the stouts and the porters. So the first beer we got here is I don't think we've ever tried anything from Penn Brewery or Pennsylvania Brewery. Uh, chocolate meltdown. This sounds delicious. It's a milk chocolate stout. So uh, let's start there. Look at this new opener. <laughs> new opener <laughs> from Fabulous Las Vegas. We have the Coca Cola opener. We're gonna open it. So, see if see if it can actually work right. See, it's not a very good opener. Oh my god. Don't say that. Kendra will be so upset. The Kendra bought this, didn't she? She did. That was your Christmas present. Oh, Pick that out just what? for you Kendra. at the Coca Cola store. It is not. It, it's not grabbing right. This is the first time I've used it. Oh my god. Okay then, you just have to cheat and use the one down there. <laughs> He's so determined. I am, because you know, our daughter buys these things, these things and, and I think I already broke it. <laughs> there. Open. It is nice looking though. I mean, it's... It's shiny. It is shiny. <laughs> okay, let's get back to the beer. Yes. Ooh, that looks nice. I'm really excited about this one. So it's am I, so am I. beer and, and after an aggravating day, that's like all I want. Did you have an aggravating day today? A little bit. <laughs> let's try it out. The whole world is angry, I think. <laughs> Well, that's nothing new. It's been going on for two years at least. Well, chocolate cures everything, so. Mm. Ooh. Oh. I can smell the chocolate on that one. Yes. Mm. Oh my god, that's good. What do you think? Yeah, that's good. So this is a chocolate American stout, 5.5 ABV. Nice, good, nice, nice balance of chocolate and coffee. This one, uh, we're gonna make short work of that one, I think. <laughs> Really good, really good. Um, not too familiar with the brewing company. I, I, I'm sure we've had a couple of them on we have, the show I, before, yeah, but they do some really interesting seasonal ones. Mm. So yeah. Now that's not overly thick. I thought it would be thicker, but it's not, mm -hmm. which is nice. This uh, it goes down rather well, <laughs> and it's not really big. I mean, it, it's like a normal yeah. stout because you're, you're usually your stouts are five point five somewhere around there, like, uh, six maybe. Then you get into the imperial stuff, so you know the those ones, <laughs> the one you had the other night. Yeah, that was a biggie. Mm. Excellent beer. Yeah. Excellent yeah. beer. Two thumbs up for that one. Now the next one is Devil Dog <laughs> by the Heroic Brewing Company. That's an oatmeal stout. Now this one's bigger. This one's eight point three ABV. Now this is from their website. They describe it as smooth, velvety. And bold. Chocolate malts, rolled oats, bringing out the nutty chocolate and roasted coffee characteristics. Now, the reason why I read off the website is this last sentence. A portion of every drop sold of this beer is donated to the local VA hospitals in Detroit. Nice. So, not only are you drinking a good beer, hopefully it's a good beer, you're also, you know, good cause. And we're all about good causes. Oh, you know? yeah. It's better to be nice to your fellow man. So, ooh. Smell that. <laughs> Let's try this out. This oatmeal stout. Okay. Yep. Okay. 8.3, so this is gonna be a little bigger. I'm, I'm, I'm going to assume there's gonna be a little bit of that alcohol burn to it. Uh, smells good. Smell the chocolate malts on it. Mm. What do you think? 
I'm kind of sorry we did it after the other one because that's a tough act to follow. It is. It's it hard, is. hard to kind of get a it is. It did not, on this one. It's not as chocolatey, but yeah. you, you can taste the oatmeal in it. Yeah. Um, if you like oatmeal stout, I, you know, I'd lean towards this one. Uh, it's it's 8.3. It's a little bit of that alcoholiness at the end. Um, and some people enjoy that. This one uh, would be probably one and done for me. It's good. It's doing what it, it, it's doing what it says it's doing. Uh, it's bold. It's a bold oatmeal stout. Yeah. Uh, it's nice malt flavor though too. It's a little bit thicker than the last one. This is a good yeah. a, uh, after dinner beer, and that's that's about it. This one, yeah. and then you're done. Yeah, well, a nice cold night. It warms your belly. Yeah. Now the first <laughs> one I could drink probably three of them. <laughs> it's old tempting. Yeah. We don't have three. Mm. We have one. This is from an unsponsored uh, uh, beer distributor we got this from. Mm -hmm. Okay. Last but not least, we have Founders Brewing Company's Porter. Now, this porter is its a classic beer. We've probably had this on the show before. We've had this many times here. Uh, I, I know I had it. Uh, it, Founders is a great company, very solid. I don't think there's anything by Founders I don't like. So this probably is going to be your standard porter. Yeah. Well, they do stouts and porters very well, though. I do do everything well, though. Yeah. You know, all day IPA. Oh yeah, that's right. You know, that's a great that's a great session Pretty IPA for, for people who don't really like a lot of hops and stuff. Now this one, like I said, classic porter. Uh, uh, it pours like silky black with a nice creamy tan head on top. Yeah, looks good. Nose is sweet, uh, strong chocolate and caramel smell. Oh. Oh, that's good. Yeah, it's, like I said, your classic porter. There's nothing bad about it. Uh, if you like if you like dark beers, you should be drinking this one. It's a little smoky, which mm -hmm. we all know I love that. It's good. I, I like that it's not like barrel-aged porter or, or mm -hmm. barrel-conditioned porter. There's nothing else in it but what mm -hmm. is supposed to be in it as far as it being... A porter. <laughs> yeah. Nothing fancy. And that's that's what I like. When I want a porter, I'll probably go with Founders. Uh, it's just a great all-around uh, represent, representation of the style. 6.5 ABV, so it's not overly huge. It's it's a little, you know, a little up there as far as like, you know, pours and stouts. They're usually gonna be like between four, five percent. When you're starting to hit six, six point five, <laughs> then they're getting more into this this territory, the devil dog. Which um, I would consider the oatmeal stout like a you know like an imperial stout, the Devil Dog because it's it's eight point something, it's eight point three, it's up there. You know, so once you go past seven, <laughs> you should categorize it as like either a double stout, imperial stout, or you know something like that. So, yeah. but this going back to uh, founders, what do you think? No, this is good. Yeah. And you know, <laughs> you're the stout and porter girl. Yeah. No, this is, it's good. It's smooth. It doesn't have much burn. It, uh, it's not overly thick and heavy. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, yeah. it's just right. I like it. Good. Good. So there are beers for this, uh, this episode. We'll keep you warm. We'll keep you warm all through the winter. Yes. Uh, actually, one thing we've been doing through WYLN for the past couple months is our good news bulletin that we send out an actual... Paper bulletin we send out to uh, local businesses throughout northeastern Pennsylvania and spreading out into central Pennsylvania now, too. And in there, one of the things we do is the drink of the week, which is sponsored by our friends at Jackass Distillery. So this is going to be our drink of the week for Valentine's Day. It's called the Penny Dropper, and it's easy to make. 1.5 ounces of Penny Dropping Lemonade Moonshine by Jackass Distillery. And one ounce of their Scallywag rum. Fish it off with your favorite lemonade, and let me tell you, it is delicious. And if I was wearing underwear, it'd fall right off. That's, that's how good that drink is. Not, my, not only my socks off, but my underwear too. So there you go, there's your drink of the week. Sponsored by Jackass Distillery. You can check them out 
go to go to uh, any location that sells uh, the Jack has moonshine, which includes the hometown farmers market or their distillery. Check them out, and of course, check out the WLN Good News Bulletin. When we come back, road stop, fabulous Las Vegas. Don't go away. There's more one hops and road stops coming up after the break. Wine hops and road stops shot on location deep within the bowels of the Latimer compound. We're going to talk about our road stop now. There's a dog here. Is there a dog here? There's a dog yeah. here. Well, dogs are everywhere. We have three dogs and they wander around the set. This is Lena. You can't see her because she's down here. You want, you, want, you want to say hi, Lena? She may say hi eventually. Yeah, she's doing hound dog things. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> well, let's talk about a road stop. Okay. Where do we go in December? Give me a rundown of what we did in December. Oh, we ran around Las Vegas, drank a lot of beer. <laughs> you lot of drank food. a lot of beer. I, I did. I drank a lot of gin. <laughs> I wanted to try all kinds of beers, and I wanted to try every Bloody Mary in town, and I didn't. I just drank gin. <laughs> you tried like one, I think. I had one. <laughs> well, let's, let's do a little rundown on our trip to Las Vegas. Because I know they liked the last time we went somewhere, which was Atlantic City. Uh, we did a report from Atlantic City. I know a lot of people like that. So here's a report from Las Vegas. One of our favorite places in Las Vegas is the Link Promenade. That's a great place to have a beer or get something to eat because there's a lot of um, restaurants. There's a lot of shops there. Unfortunately, our favorite place, the American, was closed for remodeling. So we ended up at the Link Bar, a small outside bar right on the Link Promenade. Dante, the bartender, was my best friend about a week's end. Now, two beers I enjoyed there were from Oregon, and I believe you could find them here in Pennsylvania, and they were Hop Valley Bubble Stash IPA and Hop Valley Mango Stash IPA. Now, the Hop Valley beers were interesting because they had something called cryo hops listed on the cans. What are cryo hops? I'm glad you asked me that, dear. <laughs> cryo hops are concentrated hop powders that offer aromatics with less bitterness. That means that mean? You get a strong hot flavor without the bitterness. How strong? Pretty strong. They were really good. They were good beers. I really, really liked them. Uh, now, the next thing I got to tell you about is, and you didn't like this thing. You ran away from it, was the tipsy robot inside Planet Hollywood. I know you don't like robots. No, and I don't want them making me drinks. <laughs> I took one look and I was out of there. Well, the Tipsy Robot is a futuristic cocktail bar where robots mix custom drinks and deliver them by a conveyor belt. I went for a Jameson Ginger for 14 bucks. Now I know what you're saying. That's a little steep. And it is a little steep for what I got. Uh, <laughs> the cup was pretty small, but Des, you're paying for the experience. Yeah, no thanks. Do you have to tip the robot? What no, you but you, you, you do tip, you have to tip, but you tip it on the screen. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. so it probably cost me closer to 20. Well, what's a robot gonna do with a five dollar bill? It was a perfectly made Jameson Ginger. That doesn't sound fun. Yeah, by my standards, <laughs> it was pretty weak. Since I'm always a bit heavy on the poor, it was it was weak, but it was fun. It was it was a neat experience, that's one and done. I will probably not do that again. Uh, but it is interesting. I would go just for the experience. I'd go check it out. Uh, I will probably never go near that place ever again. <laughs> I don't know. Me and robots, not. No. <laughs> and we also ate a lot. Oh. Uh, including some great pizza at several places. I was surprised at how good the pizza was. That yeah. you could get really good pizza. Oh, yeah. We have high standards. We do. We do. Um, I'd say the Chicago deep dish was the best that we had. I like that a lot. Um, I'm sure there's better places to get Chicago deep dish where we got. I'm sure some of our friends that live in Vegas are like, no, 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 no. You guys went to like the standard place. But look, <laughs> the pizza we had, a couple times we had pizza. I even went to the art house and had pizza. Mm -hmm. And I understand the art house is a chain, but the pizza was really, really good. And then from there, we uh, rented a car and explored the desert. <laughs> well, we can't stop here, it's back country. <laughs> Stopped at the Pioneer Saloon in Good Spring. We had lunch. Uh, that was fantastic. Ghost Burger. I, I love the Pioneer Saloon. Oh. Kendra and I had a chef salad that they smoke the meat right there behind the restaurant. I've never had a chef salad that amazing before. 
Place is great. Uh, rent a car and drive out of Vegas and go explore. Then we went to the Valley of Fire, which is 40,000 acres of bright red Aztec sandstone outcrops. And we met a stubborn mountain goat. We're stuck here because the goat won't move. Hey goat, how's it going? What's up? Can we get through? And on our last day, Oh, we went to Area 15. Area 15. Now this place, it's kind of hard to explain. <laughs> Area 15 is an immersive bunker style experimental bazaar with larger than life art installations, a virtual reality experience, and off the wall shops. It's weird and we loved it. Especially Meow Wolf's Omega Mart. Yeah, that place messes with your head. You don't know what's real and what isn't. It's amazing it feels like a supermarket from another dimension now if you want to see the full video that we put together about wine hops and road stops visits the fabulous city of las vegas it'll be on our facebook page it'll be on our website it'll be on our youtube page very soon i couldn't fit it all into the show the whole show would just be about vegas not that that's there's anything wrong with that it's just no you know For sure. yeah. so don't go away there's more wine hops and road stops coming up right after this Welcome back to Wine Hops and Road Stops. I think that's all the time we have, guys. I'm sorry, show's over. If you like us, you want to talk to us, facebook.com slash wine hops and road stops is our Facebook page. And that's where you could access our Facebook group. Or you could go to winehopsandroadstops.com. Uh, you can access our YouTube page from there. Uh, sign up to that, subscribe to that. Do everything you need to do to keep the show on because uh, we like doing it. And we do like the feedback from you. So if you like it, Tell us about it, right? Yes. So, uh, that's all we got. That's all we got. So, um, I'm just going to end the show, I think, right? If we have to. Yeah, life is too to. short to have bad beer. So, have a good beer, drink with something you love, and travel the world. <laughs> we'll see you next time on Wine Ops and Road Stops. <laughs>